Hi everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Ali, and today we are going to be talking about how to change our behavior, our mind, our beliefs, specifically when we are really deeply ingrained in certain habits or certain thinking. I want to share a few tips that have really helped me when it comes to implementing change and changing the way that we think. So for example, say you are someone who wants to change your mind in your relationship with your mother. You want to have a closer relationship with your mom, you've been working on communications and boundaries with them, and you just want to get closer. But you have the habit because of whatever has gone on in your life that whenever your mom reaches out to do something or they contact you maybe, like your immediate reaction is like, oh, I don't want to do that or oh, that doesn't feel comfortable to me. Or you start to want to retreat because of those previous emotions and habits that we're trying to change. Um, so the first tip that I have is to practice opposite reaction um, and practicing opposite reaction only works if you actually want to do the thing um, and you know in the long run it's going to be healthy for you it just feels a little bit like scary and icky right now because your body is so used to responding in a specific way to a certain situation whether that be this relationship with your mom or maybe it's you know going to the gym or maybe it's making certain financial purchases that could give you anxiety, um, whatever it is, like your body has this trained response. And so opposite reaction can help like rewire those uh, pathways in your brain and rewire your response situations. So what you should try to do is when the situation approaches itself to you and you know, okay, this is a safe situation, this is something I want to change and something I want to work towards, um, instead of, you know, saying your usual normal response like, oh, maybe mom, I'm not sure, or I'll have to check my calendar, do the opposite. So say like, Yes, that would be so fun. I'm so excited. I'll make the reservation. Why don't we go for lunch here? I can't wait to see you. Smile. Um, you know, try to like relax your body, like get excited about the thing. Um, and that's going to trick your brain and mind if you do it enough times over and over to actually have a different response uh, and to get excited about this activity or thing. Um, and so it's really crucial when we are trying to change you know, those pathways in our brain and change the way that we are behaving and operating in the world. Um, when it makes sense, obviously, if, if it's something that you would be scared of or that you don't want to do, let your body react in the way it's supposed to. But if it's something that you are actively working towards, using opposite reaction is a really great tool. Next up uh, is that if you are having trouble, you know, doing opposite reaction um, or like you make the decision but then you feel weird about it or um, it's hard for you to get excited about it. The next thing that you can try doing is using approach decision making um, versus avoidance decision making. So what's really helpful when we're changing our mind about something is A, to like write down why we want to do this thing. So I want to get closer with my mom because I value our relationship, because there are things I can learn from her still that I want to uncover, because I want to learn more about her, um, because I want to be able to uh, be able to rely on her or share things with her. Um, so write down the reasons why you actually want to do the thing. I want to go to the gym because it's going to make me feel better and it's going to help with my mental health and it's going to help me live a long life. Right? So write down whatever your why and reasons are. And then when you're making a decision like going out for lunch with your mom that may feel uncomfortable, you can refer back to like the approach mindset. So um, the approach mindset means that like you're approaching a decision because there are things about it that excite you. So maybe one of the things could be like, oh, I could, you know, learn something new about my mom or, you know, I've been having a hard time at work this week and maybe my mom can comfort me at this lunch. Um, so like writing down, okay, why am I approaching this situation? Maybe the restaurant will be really cool and we can bond over the food there. Um, whatever things come to mind that would make you want to approach the decision, write those down and try to get your mind in that approach decision-making mindset. Because when we make decisions from the avoidance place, so it's like, well, I'm trying to have a closer relationship with my mom. If I don't go to this lunch, then that's not going to happen. Um, that's like an avoidance method. So you're avoiding a negative outcome, not getting closer with your mom, um, versus 
trying to approach the situation because there's things that you're excited about in it. When we make avoidance making decisions, we tend to not be happier. And when we're in the situation, we get more like upset or we know we're like, oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. Whereas if there are things that we're approaching about the situation um, and the decision that we made, we can focus on those things when we're there. So, um, you know, maybe if your mom does make a side off comment or kind of annoys you or says something or does something, you can still focus on like, okay, why did I choose to come here? It's for these reasons. Or um, I am really enjoying the food here and like that's part of the reason why I came here. So I can focus on that right now and that's going to help ground me. Um, and then the third thing which I kind of like underlined through all of this is just having like really clear boundaries um, and understanding that like when we're trying to change our beliefs or our thoughts or the way that we do things, it is a very scary and uncomfortable place to be. And setting boundaries can help make us feel safer while we're going through these changes. So for example, Bringing it back to the mom situation, you could set very clear boundaries with your mom, such as if you talk about my relationship or if you bring up this topic, I am going to not answer and ask that we change the subject. If you continue to bring up this topic, I am going to leave the situation. Um, so just making it really clear what you need to feel safe in that environment in order to work forward. And obviously phrasing it in like a kind and empathetic way to the other person. Like, I really want to get close with you. I really want to spend time with you. But in order for me to be able to spend close, intimate time with you, I need these boundaries to be respected in order for me to feel safe in this environment. Um, and hopefully most people or, you know, situations will understand that. And then stay true to that and, and do your best. This is not an easy task. Um, there are so many things in my life that I am still working on changing and evolving and it does take time and it does take practice and patience and knowing that, you know, you might move forward a little bit with these these tools, right? You might be making those approach-based decisions and then you fall into a week where everything's avoidance-based and that's okay. Um, you know, just take a breath, come back to yourself, do things that ground you um, and keep moving forward, even if it's little baby steps because changing our beliefs in the way that we were structured as a kid um, or how we've been structured for a long time isn't easy, but it is definitely worth it. And I promise you, the more that you stick to it, the more you'll start to see yourself grow and evolve uh, and become the person that you're trying to become and be. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. I'm at CVOLLIS on Instagram. I always try to reply to my DMs and answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with someone if you think it will be helpful for them. Subscribe because that really, really helps this channel. Uh, and we'll see you for another video soon.